What the what? Look how low the Corvette is. I know, it's hard to believe. The Corvette is right on the floor of the garage right now, on its own tires. Let's go over how I did it. You're watching On The Mark with Mark. Of course, we had to start somewhere and this was it. So we're going to get the wheels on this car and put it on the ground. I'm really jazzed about this. This is a red letter day for my Corvette project. We still need to finish up just a few loose ends here. I don't think, yeah, that's not tight yet. And uh, there's a cotter pin over there that we need to look into. And of course the wheels and tires. Also, I never tightened up the exhaust system after putting the rear suspension on. So these need to get tightened down too. It's, it's not like we're gonna go driving, but I still don't wanna let too many of these loose ends go too long in case I really do forget about them. Another thing is there's no gear lube in this differential, which I'm gonna make a piece of tape. I'm gonna write that on there so I don't forget about that because I don't wanna be driving it without that. I've moved the Corvette back into the garage and I'm able to park it more in the center of the garage now because I've taken one of my jack stands, my max jacks out. I've uninstalled it and moved it over here to the side. So now I've got plenty of room to get this door open. So when I put the new door on here, we'll be able to get the door open and closed and get it gapped right. I still got my other new door. This is the driver's side door here, and I don't have any door on the car right now. So that's coming up next. I have plenty of room on this side between my autocross trailer and the car. So should be able to work pretty comfortably now with the car like this. Getting to this point has been a long time coming. And I'm, I'm really happy with the progress that I've made. And I've had a lot of help from one of my brothers and from Tom. You saw him in this video too. 
he's always real eager to help, has been a great, great uh, resource for me. But recently I have been involved in a boating accident and I have six broken ribs now, so I have slowed down quite a bit and uh, lifting things is really difficult for me now. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen with the channel, but you notice that this video really didn't show a whole lot and it's because of that, because it's kind of a last minute thing, um, just showing a little bit of the progress that we made here. I wanna start working on these doors, but it's gonna depend on uh, how many other people I can get to come and work with me. So that might not be too hard to do. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Vroom vroom. You can make the vroom vroom sound.